Ground ball hit down to first base. Milner has it, throws to Buddy Harrelson, one to first, double play! And a fight breaks out, a fight breaks out. Pete Rose and Buddy Harrelson, both clubs still out of the dugout, and a wild fight is going on. Jerry Kuzman's in the middle of the fight. Here come the players from the dugouts on the dead run. Everybody is out there. Buddy Harrelson and Pete Rose got into it. Rose apparently thought that Harrelson had done something in making the double play. Rose is about 10 times the size. And now, Rosie Capra is in a fight. Capra is in a fight out in center field. Another fight breaks out. And the fists are really flying. Pete Rose went after Buddy Harrelson. Rose outweighs Harrelson about 35 pounds. Buddy made the double play, threw on to first base. And now they're really having trouble holding on to somebody out there. Now Joe Morgan was really into it. Capra and Morbon got into a strong fight. Buddy Harrelson has been cut. Tom McKenna is working with him. The players are still all out there. Rose went after Buddy Harrelson. Now the Mets have batted around in the first inning. Dwight Gooden is the hitter. Dwight has 17 hits this year. Here's the pitch on the way. And a high fly ball hit deep to left field. Way back on the warning track. Reynolds, he jumps. Gone. A home run. Home run. Dwight Gooden. at a three-run homer. Out he comes for a curtain call. The Mets now have a seven-to-one lead. Roden has been knocked out of the box. Larry McWilliams will come in. A seven-run first inning for the New York Mets. You talk about bouncing back after a tough loss. Mets lost seven to five at 11 innings last night. Gooden is so liked on the New York Mets ball club. And in the dugout, everybody coming over, pounding him on the back. He's been kidding about his hitting. And you know, interesting, interestingly enough, with that home run, his first Major League homer, he has tied a Mets record. Most ever hits in a season by a Mets pitcher. 18 by Tom Seaver. And that's number 18 for Dwight Gooden. Well, tonight's Mets night on camera player of the game is Ty Wiginton, who had a home run. At the end of the year, the player who is named most often will be named an Nikon Camera Player of the Year, and a contribution will be made to his favorite charity. Nikon, if the picture matters, the camera matters. The game summary is brought to you by the New York Lottery. Lotto now has two games for a buck. Hey, you never know. And for the recap, Gary Cohen. All right, Murph. Well, the game was uh, incidental. The Pirates beat the Mets 3-1 to one of much greater import. Your final night as a New York Mets broadcaster. And I just want to tell you, what an absolute pleasure it has been to sit next to you for the last 15 years. You have taught me so much about broadcasting and about life, and you will be missed more incredibly than you can possibly know. Well, the words are certainly appreciated, Gary. I feel and have felt for a long time that you do the best job of reporting baseball on radio that is done in the major leagues, and so the best teams remain in very, very good hands in the hands of Gary Cohen. Obviously, I've, I've enjoyed myself so much over 42 years, a total of 50 years of the major leagues. I think it's just time to call it a halt. Thank you so much for all your help. Well, Murph, it has been a pleasure for every Met fan to listen to you for the last 42 years, and I'm sure that uh, everybody listening tonight joins me in saluting you for a marvelous career and for being the voice of summer. Well, thank you very much. I'll say goodbye now to everybody. Stay well out there, wherever you may be. I've enjoyed the relationship with you. New York Mets Baseball is a production of Sports Radio 66 WFAN in conjunction with the New York Mets. The coordinating producer is Michelle Salvatore. Studio operations by Matt Deutsch and Eddie Robinson. Sir Engineer in the booth. What a wonderful man he is. We have enjoyed him so much. Game after game after game.